Okay, I'm here with my husband who is going to show how we are going to hook up this new bon Monster Bums diaper sprayer. This is the nozzle. It's made of plastic. It feels fairly sturdy. The trigger is tight, so it seems like it wouldn't wear down too fast. Here's the holster that would hook on here like this one. And here's the T connector, water switch, pressure valve, whatever, but this is it's built built really well and it's it's huge that these be built well because this is where all the pressure gets built up with a when the water's on, this is what's blocking it, so you don't want a cheap one that could compromise your bathroom floor or wall or whatever is going on, so it, this is built real well, and that's, that's huge to have that be built so well, so that's good. It's a wider gauge than our older one too, so it might like it might work really well because it's wider and it just feels real strong. You could probably run over it with a truck and you'd be okay. <laughs> Mama. Mama. But something for the monster bums. We have these wall anchors for sheetrock and screws and washers, but it isn't. I would imagine the washers are, are replacement washers, but the screws and the, the wall anchors, it doesn't show anything in their manual about what it's for. And I was looking because I didn't want to leave anything out to describe it, but it doesn't say anything about it. And there's no anchor on the hanger to put it anywhere. So I don't understand what it's for. So maybe that would be something that they could include is what the screws and anchors are for. Yeah. All right, so those are all the pieces. Now we're going to disconnect our old diaper sprayer and then we will uh, show how we are connecting the new one. So this is our old diaper sprayer here on the right, and the new one is on the left, the Monster Bums, and the one on the right is the Aqua Us brand, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it was $60 brand new, and our first one broke within the first like week, and we had to get a second one, and we did get the exact same one, and it hasn't broken yet, but I say yet tentatively. So anyways, here is the Monster Bums on the left, and now my husband is going to show how to hook it up. Okay, so I'm taking this T-connector that screws up against the bottom of the water tank in the back, and do it by itself, don't have the hose connected up to it yet, because it's less of a pain without the hose. goes back here and you just screw it up and my husband put that bowl under there to catch any drips of water or anything okay so there's that hooked on there Whoops, okay babe. okay Hook the original wall mount to the T connector. This here. Sorry, our bathroom is real, very poorly designed to video a diaper sprayer hookup. No. 
I'm going to hook the hose up to the third spot that's reserved for the hose. Excuse you, Georgia. Okay. So that just screws on. Really simple. Make sure it's on tight too so there's no leaks. Okay, so there it is. And now he has the other side in his hand. Okay, so that's screwed on. Now we're gonna screw this on to the uh, to the side of the T connector, which is the third side. Make sure that little washer thing doesn't fall out. Or that little rubber thing, whatever it yeah, is. Make sure it doesn't bunch up on you either. Because otherwise it'll make the connection bad and it'll leak. Just tight, tightening it up. That should be the finished product. It's not focusing. That should be the finished product. From the wall into the bottom of the connector. And then the top connector goes into the toilet. And then the hose goes into the third side. And then that one hooks on there. Super easy. You really can't mess that part up. I could do that part. That hooks on like that and as you can see it loops around the back of the toilet like this this is where you turn it on and off and you turn the water back on now